Hi, welcome to my How to Golf series. I'm James Ellis Caird. Today I'm going to be talking about the golf ball. What golf ball should we use to play golf? Um, there are so many on the market. Um, and golf balls do do different things, yes. Um, some spin more, some spin less. Some are soft, some are hard. And, and if you do play a lot of golf, you are a professional, you play you play good amateur golf, you, you're a good club golfer, then, you know, I think it's important to perhaps have a consistent ball. I mean, you know, I used to, you know, the first consistent ball I ever used was a, a Max Fly Revolution, uh, the ball that Freddie Couple used. And yeah, I was a golf ball snob. I, I used to only use those balls. I used to put a little mark on it and I took pride in that and I enjoyed it, but I was playing all the time and it, and it, and it had an effect on my game. But. I'm a recreational golfer now, like, and so like so many of the golfers I teach and so many golfers out there, especially beginners and, and golfers who are just learning in the midst of, midst of learning, to be honest, it doesn't really matter as long as it's round, as long as it's not too beating up, beaten up, not too old, then it's not really going to affect your performance. And one of the biggest things I talk about in my teaching is playing with the flow. And what I mean by that, and I'll talk more about it in another post, is that you want to keep the flow of the game going. You don't want to be stopping too much. You don't want to be overthinking for every shot you hit. You don't want to be overthinking before you hit the ball. And if you're hitting a three pound 50 ball into the rough, you're certainly going to stop the flow of the game because you're going to want to look for it. Um, but if you're hitting just a, a cheap ball that, that is round and white, then you can afford not to look for it for very long. You can afford just to sort of like drop another one down and keep the flow going, keep the game going. You're, you're supposed to be learning learning the game. You're supposed to be enjoying the game. Um, there's another time for that. There's another time for just playing one ball and adding up all your scores and getting super stressed. It's And maybe that time will never come, hopefully. But So I guess my advice is, you know, until you get to a certain level, it really doesn't matter what ball you use. Just use a ball you can afford not to lose and definitely a ball you can afford not to waste time looking for. And I guarantee that's going to improve your flow, which will improve your golf, improve your scores eventually, and most of all, improve your, your enjoyment. So until next time, I'll see you soon.